Hi, welcome back all of you. Lana here. And then in this session, uh, we are going to have a look at the import maps, uh, which are used extensively in the product data hub. So whenever you wanted to make a change on any of the attributes of the item for a large number of items, say 100 or 1,000. So import maps will be very helpful, actually. So let me go on and have a look at it. So let me go on and share my screen. So before you start, we have to enable the consolidation on the product map. So let's go there. So click on the home icon. <clears throat> I go to the setup and maintenance. We have to enable the consolidation. Actually. So it comes under consolidation. And we have to go to actions and then go to offerings. And then I choose the product management on the left hand side and then click on the opt in features. So the import maps will be coming under consolidation action. So you'll now go there and then have a look at it. <laughs> So the data consolidation is on. So this must be on. And then the product spoke post system must be on. And then the item badges must be on. So these are the three important ones which are required for this. And this is for a, a higher level actually. And these two things. But these three things must be on. Consolidation, and then the spoke systems, and then the item badges. All are on. And after using, after you're switching it on, you have to log out and log in for this to take effect. Click on it. Now, let us now go there and then have a look at one of the items contact on it. I will now go to the product information management and I will look at one of the items, existing items, which I have just completed actually. I will now go to the browse items. <clears throat> Let me query the items. So go there. It is a G71 underscore 1080 is the one. Let me query. So, click on <clears throat> so this is the mass chart. Right? Click on it. So, click on this G71 1080. Right? This is a description. So we are now seeing the description concatenation actually. And then if you go to the categories, right, now it is having a category called FC audit. So I'm not going to make a change in the categories, right? So if you want to change the categories of hundreds of items or thousands of items, you can very well do. And not only for category, you can do it for any attribute, whatever you like. So in this exercise, I'm going to do it for category. So now let us now open up an Excel file. Excel file. So this field, I've not just tested it. So I'm not going to use it actually. Let me use a new one. <laughs> I'm not going to make a fourth import and click on it. So I will now have something, fine. Right? It's called transaction type. Fine. There is a first column. So transaction type. Then afterwards, R. I will now even say Nana's R. Whichever you want to put, whatever heading you want to put, you can very well put Nana's R. Then I will now say Nana's item. <clears throat> so whatever you want the heading, and I will now say item description. <sighs> So it is item description of and then afterwards category, catalog, catalog, and then category. So first of all, decide the fields which you want to do. See you, you all the category is not there. Oh, it was coming. <laughs> Delete it and then I will not say see you, category. <clears throat> so this many columns are there actually. And then I'm going to save it as a file. Right? This is the third import which I'm going to make now. Right? I tested two actually. Go to the file. So you know, first of all, uh, made the headings on this column. Right? This all. So create all the fields which you want to make a mass change. Fine. Right? Uh, using import maps actually. So go to the file, and then I will now save us. Fine. Click on save us, and then I will now open up this, and then I will now go to the same directory of uh, my PDH training actually. So this is a uh, training for uh, information PDH training. Kind of, uh, so in this, what about that? No, say it's an import map. Import map three. Import map three. I'm going to make it. I'll note down. And then you have to make it as what? As a UTF-8 format. Now. Comma delimited UTF-8 format. And this is a format which is required. Fine for this. So go there. Click on it. Import map three is now getting ready. Then click on save. So the header file is now ready. The header file is ready. Now what I do is I'll now go to the system. I'll click on this one. I'll go there. <laughs> I will now right click and then duplicate. I will now go there. So let us now go into the what's called creation of this. First of all, we will now check the spoke systems of this. Now I click on it. I will now go to the product information management. Let us now go on and have a look at the spoke system. So click on it. So under the consolidation, you will now see that what happens. The managed spoke system is done. Thank you. So go to the managed spoke systems on the consolidation. Right? So here, uh, there are two things are there. This is a product information management. Right? Click on the hyperlink of it. And then ensure that it is on, on data load. And the schedule is on data load, not manual and normally. So as and when you do it, as and when you run the batch or as and when you run the ABDA import, what happens, it will be getting loaded automatically. 
it's all dead alone. So it's already there, fine, you may cancel it. The spoke system is perfectly set actually. Now what you do is you go there, click on it. I will now create a map actually, right? Manage import maps. <clears throat> Manage import maps is the one. So this is the uh, heading of the, so click on plus, let us now create a map. I'm now making the third map actually. I'll now say it's a import map three. So, so import map three, I'm now making it now. <clears throat> So click on the description fine. Take a bit from the description. And then go there. I will now bring in the file which you have made now. The file which you have made, I'm not going to begin now. One second. So having given these, we'll now choose our file actually. Click on the file, choose file. You're choosing it. Now go there. The import map three actually. Then you choose the CSV file actually. Click on the file. So the moment I choose it, all the columns will be coming on the left-hand side. So we have to map it with the system tables columns, actually. So we have to map it with the system tables. So go there in the top. So the transaction type will be under item item, actually. If you go down, now find the transaction type coming up from this place. So keep it as the transaction type. And then drag and drop this. Click on it. Transaction type. Drag and then drop on it. You know, dropping it. So once you drop it, it gets mapped, actually. So the non as org has to be mapped to the original log. I go that point. If you go up, the org will be coming in this place. Go up, go up. So you'll not find the org coming up now. <clears throat> the organization. So this is the organization. So I will now click on it. I mean, I will now drag and drop in the organization. So I will drop. So org is mapped actually. Now non as item has to be mapped to the item actually. Go there. So you map it to the item. <laughs> So, this item, right? let us not map it to the item. Right? Go there. So, drag and drop on the item. <laughs> we can even query on this find attributes. Right? Who is also good. Then, item description. So, item is there. This is the item description. So, click on it. I will not drag it to the item description. Drag and drop on the item description. So, I am not dragging and dropping on the item description that gets mapped. Right? So, then, the catalog comes in. So, catalog is not an item actually. So, I will minimize all the things in the item. So, previously, we have not brought all these things under item item. Right. Minimize item. So on the minimize item, we'll not find the catalog. And then expand the catalog. So this is the one. Okay. So expand the catalog under item categories, the catalog is still. So click on it. I will not drag and drop on the catalog. So I'm not dragging and dragging on the catalog, and there's no matter. Then the category is not coming, and there is an next one. <coughs> so the next one. So let us do it. So category name actually. Go there and then drop it up. So the category is also mapped. So all of them are mapped now. Give us say. Right. So my column names are now mapped to the system columns name actually. Everything is mapped. So give it save. So once you give a save, your create template icon will be coming. Click on save. You will now find a create template icon coming up for that. A generate template icon. So let us now generate the template. Click on generate. I'm now generating the template. So enable the US American English click on generate by which the template gets generated actually. The template is now generated. <coughs> So it's not done. So it's not coming, coming, coming. So it's not done. So let's now download this. No fine. Import map three is the one. Fine. So uh, click on link. No fine. You know, get download. You know, getting download. <coughs> now uh, we have to open this file. Go to the show and open it. So if you try to click on it, what happens? It will not open at all. It will not say that what happens. There's a problem in opening it actually. So uh, so you'll now see that it is not. It is not. It is, not, it is a protect, not protected view actually. Fine. It's not opening up actually. So close it and then we have to, what happens, uh, uh, enable, you have to, uh, uh, the protection has to be bypassed actually. <clears throat> the protection has to be bypassed. So what you will do is, you will now go here and then here, I will now go to the downloads now. <laughs> go to the downloads. So this is the one which I have written one. Right click on this and then what happens, go to the properties. Let us now unprotect it actually. So go to the unblock. Right? right click and then what happens, put an unblock and then click on apply by which it gets unblocked actually. Right click on apply. So once it is unblocked, it will not allow you to open it up. Right? Double click on the open button. We are opening it up. So it has now come. Fine, us. <clears throat> so now, what I was, we had to identify the catalog and category for this. Right? If you go there and then click on this place, fine, in this place, I will now go to the browser items. And then I see that what happens, uh, the catalog is what? SLK, PO, right? but it is not exactly clear. So in this place, it will be clear, actually. Fine, go to the catalog. And then let me drop down and then choose this. Yeah. And then here, we have a category called FC Oracle. Right? Let us not try to put some of the category over here. Right? Click on it. Not put some of the category. No, there. So let me put some of the category. <laughs> Consumables. So I will not give a save also. Let's not give a save. 
So the catalog and category is there. So let us now put it on our sheet now. So take off it. I will not put it on our sheet actually. I'm going to the place over. In this place, what happens? I have not put the catalog over here. Right? The catalog. No, paste it. And then the category. I will not take copy it. Consumable is the one. I'll take off it. Because that is coming from list of value over there. Here we don't have any list of values at all. So it is what I'm not going to perform an update. Let me perform an update. I know the org is what is a is a G7100 R. The item is what uh it is a G71 underscore 1080. Item description will not take it off my image. So we go there. We'll not take up the description on this place, nothing. So the description has been concatenated actually. So the description has been taken from this place. G7100 is what? So we'll not go there to connect. We'll not pay the description. So our file is ready. Likewise. Create for hundreds and thousands of items in the Excel sheet on a C on a, a U, UTA U, UTF eight format actually. It's not done. Come in. It's all done. So everything is done. Now we are going to change the category to consumables. Okay. So in this place, if you see the category is now FC Oracle, I'm not going to change it to what consumables. And likewise, you can even change on any of these things. <clears throat> you know, go back again to this one. <laughs> you know, go there. So you know that the import map is ready. You can go there. So let us now give a save and close and see. Now we will not run the batch actually. We'll not run the batch. We'll not, we'll not, we'll not run the batch. We'll not go there. So go to the manage item batches. Now find the third one. I go to now find. So I already done three. Fine. I made some mistakes on this. Now find. Now uh, I will not run the fourth batch actually. Fine. We'll import batch three is also done. I will not make a fourth batch. I will not make a fourth batch actually. Import batch four. So go there. It is the G7100 is all ready. Right? Go there. It drop it down and then choose and then save and add items. Right? The batch four is now getting ready. Right? Drop it down and then save and add items. You go to save and add items. Right? So here the import map is what you go there. It's called import map three actually. When you click on search now. <clears throat> Maybe coming on from another. Uh the EMP is the import map three is the one. You go there. So you want import map three. So the one you want to choose, I'll click on I'll choose it. So the map is coming. I will not choose the file. I click on choose file. <clears throat> Here, what happens? I will not choose the third map. Import map three is the one. Thank you. So that is now getting done now. So now we will not perform an update actually. So the file is not it. The import map is not. This is the file where the Excel file you are done. So click on the upload file. The batch is now going to run. The file upload is in progress. So uh, the concurrent ending in five twenty seven, the ESS job ending in five twenty seven, no submitted. Okay, now you will not go to the monitor job. Right click and then the duplicate, and then let us now go to the monitor process. And then how will In this place itself, if you go to this place, uh, where is the one? Uh, this is the one. This is the monitor process. Yeah, go there. You know, see this. So the import is now passed actually. If you go to the manage item batches. And then I make a search. The third import is the fourth import actually. Fine, click on search now. We'll now see the fourth import coming up. The fourth import is now pending, is not processing actually. So in the monitor process, you can very well see you now find the item import is running. So once when the import gets succeeded, what happens? You'll not find <laughs> the import will not succeed. No running, running, running. And then once when the import gets succeeded, <clears throat> then you'll now see the item attribute. Right? The other items, it will be changed to what consumables actually. This will be getting changed to consumables. <laughs> Click on it. So you will now wait for the mod process to complete. The mod process is now running, running, running. <clears throat> item import child is running now. So if you go to the manage item batches and have all the it is not in the in the import process. Fine. So click on search now. So the process actually. So now what happens? It is now almost completed total cost and the total record successfully imported is one actually. It's now still showing progress only fine. It's okay, fine. The one is now shown okay. Let us now go to the browse items and then what happens? You will now cancel and then query it. And then you can now see the category getting changed. Then click on cancel now. Cancel it. <clears throat> and then click on search again. I'm searching again. And then I will now click on the item in the master. Click on the item in the master. <clears throat> and then go to the categories. You can now see the category would have got changed to consumers. It's still not done. It's not running actually. Even though that says it's completed. But we have to wait for the all the concurrence to complete. The import has to get so the import is now end in the error. You can now see what the error actually. So the import has ended in the error actually. I have import the in the error actually. So some problem here on the click on the attachments, then have a look at the So you know saying what happens SLKPO item category set consumables null. The value of the catalog catalog 
for category consumables attribute is not a valid one. And this combination seems to be invalid now. Fine. So we have to choose some other combination actually. And there's a reason that product is not doing it. Fine. So consumables may not be a proper one actually. And then let us not change it actually. Fine. Because so many people are not doing experiment on this. Fine. That will not change it. Now. <clears throat> so what I do is I will not go there. <clears throat> I will not go there. No, consumables doesn't work at all properly. So let us not change it to some other one. I have one and the G71 itself, I have something on. I have something on the G71 itself. I made it now. Because this has been made only for this, not for this R. So let me choose it. So many people are experimenting on it. So whatever they have given. I will now say G71, G71 cable link. So it's a G71 cable link. So now if you go there and see it on this place, those items. So if you go on and have a look at it now. If you go and have a look at it. So it has to get changed to G71 cable link <clears throat> from FC Oracle. It has to go to G71 cable link. Yeah. So now uh, I will know what happens. You go there, you go to this Excel sheet. I will not take a copy of it and then put it on my file. No, go there. Go there. Go there. Go there. Okay. Consumables are not based as what G71 cable link. Yeah. That's it. So for the SLK, what happens? This, this may be a valid combination actually. And what else we will now run the fifth batch actually. We will go to the item one step. We will now go to the item batches. No, fine. Now run the fifth batch. Let us not run the fifth batch. So I will now go to the manage item batches. <clears throat> so the combination is not valid. So you have to have everything ready. All the data must be ready before you begin the activities. And click on plus. So I will now run the fifth batch for this one. But for the same set of data actually. <clears throat> so click on. So I'm not going to make what import batch file. Import batch file and making it so go there. Organization is what G7100. So go there and then drop it down and then save and add items. Go there. Import map is what import map three now. And choose the import map three. And the file is also the same file because I only modified the data actually. And the batch is fine. <coughs> so go there. So click on it. And then we'll not upload it. So this has to come as what up update actually. So it's not coming. It's not giving error actually. I don't know what is it now. Some error is coming. So let me close this screen and then again do it. So close the screen and then again open up the item import. I'm going to put the manager in batches for the thing in error actually. I'm going to click on plus. So the fifth batch is also started, but it doesn't end in error. So what you can do is it has started now. Fine. You click on the hyperlink of it and then go there and then edit. Need not have to create a new one, but it is unable to. What happens? Do it properly. Fine. Click on the hyperlink of it, and then I'm now open it up, and then fill up the remaining data. Now, uh, now go there. Uh, see when import. Now, fine. Okay. Uh, Reprocess the errors. Oh God. Everything is coming, but actions. Edit. Edit the batch. I'm going to edit it. I will now edit it. The fifth batch is got it. What else? Uh, on data load, item import batch. When you want to want it. Ah, uh, no. Here, what happens? The loading of the file is not shown. Oh, yeah, no, man. Whatever files there will be import on data load and all components. Uh, you can cancel now. And for it, I'm doing this coming, but the file name is not coming exactly. Change over. So, I'll do, go for the sixth one. I'm unable to do it actually in this place. I don't know how to do it. I will not click, click on the number. Click on, I will not do the edit now, but click on edit directly. <clears throat> so, click on edit. So there, the file was not, it comes to the same screen only. Right? I don't know how to do this, no fine, let us not make a new one. I'll give it a cancel. <coughs> Keep on it, I don't make a new one. Import batch six actually. Go there, I will not say import batch six. So we are not doing import batch six. Anymore. The G7100 is the one. I will not drop down and then save and add items to it. There. While adding only, it gave a problem actually. I drop it on. I will not choose the import map three. And then here in the file, I will not choose it. I will not choose the third map. So once I do it, what happens? It has to become, yeah, the update icon has to. That means what? It has already got loaded into the system actually. So let us not perform an update. Right? Perform an update. So once when you perform an update, this time it has to succeed. That is what my expectation is. Five quarters of one. I will not have a look at the monitor process. Then have a look at it. So now, it has not edit import is not ready. It has not started actually. So if you go to the manage items and then make a search for it now. The sixth batch we're running now. Thank God. What happened? I made a fifth, five, fifth one or what? Sixth batch is ready. So click on search. 
the book batch to show you how to put it. Uh, the status is what null? The status is null, make a search. The status six product is not showing, or six batches is not in the pending state. Of <clears throat> the status is null, then I'm going to make a search. So, you know, what is the amount of process and how to put it? So, we are now changing it to what? G71 cable laying actually. So, you don't need. So this time, we hope that the catalog category combination is valid, actually. So last time, we threw the error that the catalog category combination is not valid. So this time, we'll hope that it is now valid, actually. <clears throat> Item import is not running. So this has to, it should not end in the error, actually. If it is an error, it will not work at all. If you go to the right version, and then I make a search and I'm going search again. The status is null, we are searching it. So we've got a tick mark, and then it has got import also. My tick mark is also content. Everything is got completed. Let us now go to the browser and see that the category has to be what a G71 consumer version. Now I give a cancel. Cancel it. And then make a search again. Click on search again. And then I click on the hyperlink of the master, and then go to the categories. And go to the categories. And then how about it? It has got changed. So if you want to do a mass update for even hundreds and thousands of items for very many fields of an item attribute, we can very well use the import pathway for which what happens, the consolidation must be on in this place. Happens, on the settings, what happens, you have to enable the consolidation. And then put the appropriate scope systems, create an import map, and then finally, what happens are the import batches. <clears throat> now, the other way of doing it is what? This is by Excel sheet actually. So through FBDA also, we can very well do it. Through FBDA also, we can very well do it. So I'll show you what. 